Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about homeostasis and what homeostasis means. Um, just to do a little um, diagnostic on the word, homeo, or the, or the prefix homo, or homeo means the same. Stasis means like status. So homeostasis is where your body is trying to keep the same status, or basically it's trying to keep balance. So what is homeostasis? Well, homeostasis is a term we use to describe a constant state of the internal environment. Homeostasis is a state of balance within the body. So basically homeostasis is anything your body does in order to try to maintain balance. I mean, it's not just people, guys. It's animals, plants, any organism that tries to maintain balance in their, or in their system um, is doing homeostasis. So the first example of homeostasis we need to talk about is basically body temperature. Your body acts as a thermostat, and in human beings, 98.6 degrees is the average body temperature. So whenever your body gets too hot or too cold, um, your body then tr does homeostasis and tries to basically balance out your temperature. So what's the first response to being too hot or too cold? Well, the first response is voluntary. It basically means that you actually think about the fact that you're hot or cold and you do something about it. So if you're too hot, usually people shed clothes or they wear lighter clothing. Um, or they might go jump in the pool or jump in the shower in order to cool down. Um, if you're too cold, you'll add clothes. Um, or you might add a blanket over top of yourself. So the first step in homeostasis is voluntary. It's actually something you think about doing. But when these actions aren't enough, then your body kicks in and starts doing involuntary things to try to maintain your body temperature. Um, when the body's too hot, um, the basically the heat loss center of your brain will kick in and it will start stimulating heat loss. Um, when your body's too cold, the heat conservation center in your brain will kick in and it will start trying to get your body to conserve heat. Here are some examples of things your body does involuntarily without you even thinking about it in order to try to help you maintain your body temperature. Because remember, homeostasis basically means you're trying to maintain your normal bodily systems or your normal functions or body functions. And temperature is one of those normal body functions. So for instance, um, if you are too cold, your blood vessels in your skin, your muscles and blood vessels will actually contract and you will carry less heat away from the core of your body. So all of your blood vessels and muscles end up contracting so that less heat is carried out to your arms and legs. However, if you're too hot, your muscles end up relaxing and your blood vessels end up relaxing, allowing more blood to be carried out to your arms and legs and so that basically that blood can be cooled by your sweat. Um, another thing that happens uh, if your body temperature isn't right is if your body temperature is too low, you will not sweat. So your sweat glands will not produce any sweat. If your body temperature is too high, in order to try to get your body temperature back in line where it's supposed to be, your body will create sweat from your sweat glands to the surface of your skin, and then that sweat will evaporate, causing you to cool down. Um, if your body temperature is too low, your body will automatically start having your muscles contract, and the skin, the hair on your skin basically will start trapping heat and trying to keep heat in. Um, if you are too hot, your muscles relax and those skin hairs lower, and thereby letting out the heat. Um, if you are too hot, your muscles are sorry, too cold, your muscles will begin to shiver and you will start shivering in order to try to conserve heat. If you're too hot, you end up not shivering. And finally, then the last involuntary thing your body does to try to maintain body temperature. In other words, to try to maintain homeostasis in your body temperature is you will basically, if you're too cold, your brain will make you become more active. It will make you move around more so that you can try to heat up. If you're too hot, your, your brain automatically tells you to become less active. That's why if it's kind of cold outside, you move around more to try to keep warm. And if it's hot outside, you tend to kind of lay around and not move much in order to try to keep cool. All of these things are things that your body is doing to try to maintain homeostasis, to try to maintain an even 98.6 degree body temperature. Next thing we need to talk about is stimulus versus response. A stimulus is something that can elicit a response in your body. 
um, or in, in an organism. It can be an internal thing or an external thing. A response is basically a reaction to that stimulus. You can think of it like cause and effect. A stimulus is the cause. The response is basically the effect or what happens because of the cause. So a stimulus is what is making something happen and the response is what is actually happening. So here's some examples of how your body tries to maintain homeostasis using stimuli and responses. Let's say that you basically start running a fever. Your body gets attacked by some sort of virus. So the stimulant is actually the virus or the bacterial infection. Your body will respond and try to bring you back into alignment, bring you into homeostasis by basically creating and releasing more white blood cells to fight the bacteria and by raising your body temperature several degrees, two to three degrees to be exact, in order to try to fry or kill off that bacteria. Um, your body will start causing you to sneeze to try to get rid of the virus or the bacteria. And your body sometimes will induce vomiting and diarrhea in order to get rid or expel the virus or the bacteria. So again, you've been attacked by a virus or a bacterial infection. Your body now is not in alignment. It's not in an, the working the way that it's supposed to be working. So your body will respond to try to bring your body back into alignment so it does work the way it's supposed to work. Your body's trying to maintain homeostasis. It's trying to make everything function the way it's supposed to. Um, another example, um, f the fi fight or flight response. Um, when a person is confronted with something that frightens them, they usually do one of two things. They either tense up and get ready to fight, or they flight, they run away. Um, basically, that's another way your body's trying to maintain homeostasis. It's trying to keep you um, safe and keep you on an even keel and keep everything working the way it's supposed to. So let's say you saw a grizzly bear. Okay? Um, when you see the grizzly bear, if your body decide, decides to fi fight or run away, either one, um, your body will automatically make your heart rate increase. It'll make your blood flow faster. Okay. Um, and your blood will actually move to the major, mu major muscle groups in your body. Um, and your blood pressure rises. Basically, all that blood starts pumping to provide more oxygen for your body so that you can get ready to either fight or run. And again, that's another way that your body's trying to maintain homeostasis. It's trying to keep everything level. So here are some more things that cause homeostasis as far as stimuli and responses go. go. If you ingest poison, okay, your body will try to get rid of that poison and bring your body back into perfect working order. Again, homeostasis is basically bringing your body into good working order by causing you to vomit. Okay? And that happens in your digestive system. If you're exercising really hard, um, then your breathing increases in order to try to bring more oxygen into your body and get rid of the carbon dioxide from your body okay, um, and bring yourself into alignment. If you touch a hot stove, your body will automatically or your brain will automatically cause you to move your hand away very quickly. Let's face it, guys, if you touch a hot stove, you don't have to think about, oh, gee, maybe I should take my hand off the stove. Um, you automatically just pull your hand back very quickly. That's your body trying to make sure that everything's in alignment. It's, it's homeostasis. It's also called reflexes. Um, if a football is thrown to a wide receiver, the wide receiver will raise his hands to catch the ball. If a foreign body or something gets into your eye, your, your eye will automatically begin blinking and it'll start tearing up in order to try to get rid of that thing that's in your eye. Again, it's your body trying to bring back homeostasis, trying to bring itself into perfect working order. And finally, believe it or not, if you have a lack of water, so if your body needs more water, your body will try to get that water and bring yourself back into homeostasis by basically absorbing your own urine. You may have experienced this and not even known it. If you've ever like been outside on a hot day and you've been moving around and stuff and you have all of a sudden you had to go to the bathroom and you're like, oh, yeah, but I can hold it. And then you go off and you play sports or something. And all of a sudden, you know, five, ten minutes later, you don't have to go anymore. That's because your body actually is absorbing its own water out of its own urine back into yourself so that you can have the water that you need to maintain homeostasis. So again, homeostasis is not just about body temperature. It's about your body trying to make itself be 
in alignment, make itself run perfectly, and it's the different things that your body does in order to try to make that happen. Again, if you're too hot, your body will cause you to sweat to bring your temperature back in line. If you're too cold, your body will cause you to shiver to bring your temperature back in line. If you ingest something poisonous, or if you get bacteria or virus in you, your body will cause you to vomit in order to try to get rid of it. If you're exercising and you're making a lot of carbon dioxide because you're exercising, your body will cause you to breathe heavier so you get more oxygen. Homeostasis is basically anything where your body is trying to bring itself back into perfect alignment. So do animals do homeostasis? Absolutely. And in fact, even plants do homeostasis. How do animals do homeostasis? Well, it depends on the animal, but many of them do the same things that we do in order to do homeostasis. For instance, um, a, bear, uh, a bear will basically um, add fur to itself in the winter to keep itself warm, and it'll shed fur in order to make itself cooler in the summer. Your dog is the same way. He will add fur in the winter and shed fur in the summer to regulate its body temperature. Your dog will pant in order to try to cool down because your dog dogs can't sweat. They don't have sweat glands. So in order to bring your dog's body temperature back into perfect alignment, if your dog gets hot, it'll start panting to try to cool itself down. Um, other animals do other things. Plants even do homeostasis. Plants in the winter will drop their leaves in order to conserve water so that they can have the perfect water balance that they need to live through the winter. Again, examples, fur in many animals thickens in the winter to become, so it can be warmer, and it thins in the summer to become cooler. That's trying to maintain a perfect body temperature, so homeostasis and body temperature. Again, animals will pant to cool down. That's trying to maintain homeostasis and body temperature. Animals will actually migrate and travel to warmer or colder environments depending on the time of the year. And they will hibernate. They basically will slow down their metabolism in order to survive through harsh temperatures on the food and water supply that they already have in their bodies. All of these things are examples of homeostasis. They're examples of an animal or a person or a plant trying to maintain perfect body balance. Um, again, plants do homeostasis as well. Um, if a plant is in the, the heat and it is too hot, it will close its stomata in order to keep the water inside of the plant in order to make sure that it has enough water. Um, sometimes if it's too hot, it will drop its leaves to try to conserve water. It will actually point its leaves away from the sun to try to conserve water. Um, the stomata, again, are on the bottom of the leaves to help conserve water. And in excess heat or if it's super hot, roots for plants will actually grow towards the water in order to try to maintain perfect water levels in the plant. Again, homeostasis is maintaining perfect levels of everything in an organism. And so in order to, pertain, in order to maintain perfect water levels, um, plants will do those things. If it is super cold, a plant can hibernate. Its leaves will fall off and it will reduce its metabolism until it warms up in order to try to keep it um, in perfect alignment. Also, some plants release a kind of oil onto their leaves and it acts like an antifreeze to keep the leaves from freezing over. Um, if a plant is in salty soil, its stomata will actually release salt to get the salt out of the plant and it usually has thicker leaves.